there it is okay cool so when i first moved to la after thug one thug two was in production it had been announced at e3 is around like june or something in 2005 or something or four 2004 my first week on the job there was a shoot for the ultimate gamer it was a bunch of emails going around that i was going to be in it and like the producer was trying to butter me up like oh you're going to be a star and i was just like you're doing a casting call for like ultimate gamers and thips but you don't even care about the kids on TXO who actually have skill and would want to meet the guys at Neversoft and be involved in all this sort of thing. Um, anyway, so there was a casting call. I saw a copy of it. I still have a copy of it. Like, it was like, do you want to be on a TV and get your place pimped out and blah, blah, blah. Are you in, are you like male age range, blah, 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 blah. And you know, do you know who Tony Hawk is? And uh, I don't know, it was just weird. Um, I showed up to work and they were shooting that day at the office and I just got through playing Burnout 3 on PS2. And if you played that game, you know that Striker is like the MC. He's like the narrator voice throughout the entire game. And I showed up to work the next day and Striker was literally at my desk, like talking with people behind me and I'm just like hearing the voice from Burnout. And it was just the craziest, like just collision of worlds ever anyway so the idea is that i think this might have been the first episode of ultimate gamer i could be wrong but i didn't hear about it until this point so the idea this is like during the whole craze of like uh exhibit and um you know pimp my ride and like you know all that stuff and mtv cribs so whatever let's just get into it and you know, i can just walk you guys through some of the cringe i th i remember shooting this and just thinking this is awful because they kept trying to be like behind the camera telling you what to do and like the mood of the things that are going on and how to be but not directly telling you what to say because that would be weird but they're just doing everything besides that and trying to like they try to get me to to like to like really talk down to adam and like just talk a bunch of mess and stuff but i was just like not my style at all i don't never do that in any case ever like where it's like playing sports or actual games online even like being anonymous online, I never talk jive, and so I just, I don't know, I couldn't get into it. Anyway, let's just start it. Hopefully, this is it, the right video. Oh, here he is. This is, <laughs> this is the guy, man. Hey, I'm Adam. I'm from New York. I've been out in LA for nine years. I am the ultimate Tony Hawk Underground gamer. Tony Hawk. Right away, I am the ultimate Tony Hawk Underground gamer. Like that sentence alone should tell you that that person does not play video games. Right is his favorite game he's playing it all the time i spend at least 10 hours the tone in his voice he's playing it all the time like he's just getting ready to list things off that aren't true there's a day Sorry. sitting right i haven't here seen this a long time song. but that he should be the ultimate gamer because chelsea is adam's best friend that's what his life is I don't even have a job hmm. i'm completely obsessed Curious. with tony hawk underground i'm addicted to it i can't put it down it's the best game ever Hello, I'm Stryker, and this there he is, is. The Ultimate Gamer. Let's I'm take a moment. The very loose untied shoe. I'm pretty sure those were untied. The camo uh, cargo shorts, very loose. And let's not forget the traditional popped collar. Standing in front of Adam's apartment. It wouldn't be Stryker like without like the pop him. collar. <laughs> He's going to meet this. 10, 8, 33 rows, um, Los Angeles. No, that's not quite it. it must be like they must be like in the back or something I'm gonna pimp up his pad right now yeah like we're all like yeah doxing adam way to go and this guy's we're gonna kidnap him it's like we 20 years late and ridiculous oh it looks like they redid it i think that is the entrance though for rent oh adam's gone <laughs> sedge oh just Yo. playing tony ox underground one facing the camera like just that setup alone like that who has their long-term gaming setup like you know what i mean you want to be facing at the thing or like you pivot the couch when you're playing i get it maybe they're filming and he didn't pivot it this time but oh look remember remember yesterday we he has one of those things the glass door like everybody had this setup with like shelves of amplifiers and cd players and av connections with the glass door remember you're we just talking about this yo 
Dude. What's up, Adam? Striker. Yes, sir. I'm Striker. What's up? First off, uh, dude, Striker. What a surprise. Strangers like me can just. They all got the best bite. I got you, my yes. friend. Have been declared the ultimate gamer for Tony Hawk's Underground. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did not know any of this before you coming into my house and having a full face of makeup on. Yeah, yeah. dude. Are Good you job. serious? Very serious. Okay. Uh, but I, I walk in, I see right there you got Tony Hawk's Underground game sitting there. Of course. How long have you been right playing now? that game? Uh, I've been inseparable for months now playing this game and I've uh, pretty much mastered it. Now, how long uh, have you been a fan of Tony Hawk in general? Am I jealous they nailed the high five? Man, right? Yes. Birdman is the godfather of skating come right. on now you know that the first skateboard i ever had was a tony hawk pro model board and have you ever uh seen him skate in person wait so he had a double bag of hard hats that's just sitting on the table he didn't come in with this double bag there's all sorts of plot holes here probably pass out or go go insane nice now, ace that's really cool he was very guess, nice uh, world-class gamers cannot live like this you uh, know what i mean what do you mean what i mean is this i got this thing can you stand over there yeah oh and he's a lefty doing, Sonia. Hi, Striker. I'm Striker. Nice to see you and meet you. What's going Pad on? Pad pimping team. Sorry, did you guys see that? I just have to be Hi, sure. I'm Striker. Nice to this is the pad pimping team. She's like, to be fair, like, this setup doesn't look that bad. Like, it. Gonna do it up. You don't like my place? Uh, not really. Well, Take off this rough. hat. We are going to a place called Neversoft. I spend so much time playing Tony Hawk that it's not even funny. I got my car right outside. You trust my driving? <laughs> yes. Let's go right now. Come on, my man. Oh my I got God. here. I got here. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my we God. Man. Holy God. What up? That outfit, though, man. The drip. Get up here. How does he even breathe? You know, Wee Man and you know Mike V? Of course. He's drowning right now. It's our boy, Striker. I don't think that any of my friends are going to believe me about this. I had Mike V jumping over my head, Wee Man rail sliding in front of me. It was so awesome. Can you guys kick with us for a while? Sure. sure. Mike, all right, oh, man. Awesome. Right oh, yeah, there. we'll hang out for a little bit. We were just in the area. I never saw. Oh, my God. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. I'm driving. Hey, can I take these off? No exactly. way. <laughs> Pass them up, boys. We're going. You know, like when you watch a video and there's the, the guy is like clearly knows he's being filmed and he's like, oh, didn't see you there. I feel like this is that just over and over again. It's just encapsulated into like a 20 minute segment segment. So when we first um, we got like a copy of the tape uh, before it aired at the office and everybody gathered around the conference tables and they put it on and everybody everybody at the company was watching this and when kevin when it, when kevin said i'm gonna hook you up with the new cheat code the entire office erupted in laughter it was like just the funniest cheesiest thing like ever and we it's just like I always tell Kevin I'm gonna hook him up with a new cheat code like anytime I run into him. And later Adam flies high on with social the media man. now, but how was my driving, guys? It was alright. It was alright. We made it. This is the this is the old Neversoft office. We're in the um we're the third floor of this random office building on Ventura. Tickets. Surprised we made it. We are here at Neversoft. We're about to cruise in, but before we go in, can I get an autograph? Well, there you go. There you Sign go. him up. Oh no. You've been tagged. Yes. I'm never gonna watch these again. His name is Adam, and he is the ultimate Tony yeah. Hawk gamer yeah. underground. Yeah. This guy is Joel. He is the president of Neversoft. And Sorry, like I gotta, like we gotta play I'm this never one back gonna watch these because again. he's. His name is Adam. Look at Adam. The ultimate Tony yeah. Hawk yeah. gamer yeah. underground. So pumped on himself. Let's Joel. go. He is the president of Neversoft, and the man next to him, this is Scott. Hey, he has been the producer nice of every you. single yeah. Tony Hawk skate game so far. Well, right on. Pretty good stuff, Scott right? Scott all right, here's the plan. Mike, we man, you got some stuff to do with Joel. Plus this is the old Neversoft building. I think like it's for lease. So like Chad Muska took this rail. I remember there's a sushi place that should be out of business. Oh, it's seafood now. Um, but yeah, I lived like down this road and it was like you could bomb this hill and you could really eat it. But yeah, that was it. You wouldn't think that's like that's where they make Tony Hawk games, but we had the entire third floor and um the lawyers lived below and above us, and they would get really mad for skating inside. Well, yeah, that's Logan, the dog. Later, but he passed no away, idea. and then he bought like a new one, a new and improved one that was named Riley. What's in store for me? I'm so psyched. <laughs> like, do you sue me? Yeah, exactly. Check it out, people. This equipment is Jurassic. 
Man, what are we gonna do? Wait, what did he say? Hold on. Equipment is Jurassic. It's Jurassic. <laughs> Man, what are we gonna do with all that? Other than throw everything in the trash. <laughs> this is disgusting. Nice. Oh my god, I said it on the last stream and I don't think anyone caught that because I just been saying it for ages now. We change everything for the latest equipment. We're gonna Good beam god. out his place really nice. It's just so very like waiting to add and get back. So confident. And take a look at that. Like Nolan's our character artist here. Oh Nolan, he uh he did the uh creative skater in Epic Skater one and two. He puts oh. And he did all the um creative skater stuff and model character modeling for all the tony games you guys in the game so if they want to get in the game they got to start here oh my god actual copywritten music yeah he works on guitar here as well oh man awesome. hell yeah adam get in here check this out man you're on this computer screen Whoa. and it's not x-rated oh my goodness right, we got there all, you are i got all the pictures down Dude, right not x-rated is this Sad. what you use on BAM and Tony Hawk and Wee Man? And yeah, exact same process for all the pros. Can you make his like uh, head bigger or his ears yeah, look ridiculous quick. or something yeah, like that? Let's give him a big nose. <laughs> yes, a big nose. Yes, because he's a liar. <laughs> Whoa! Nice. Whoa! Nice. Well, no one just hits a few buttons here, exports it right into our game engine. All right. And then uh, you'll see a virtual Adam. Whoa, that right looks there. exactly that's like you. me. It is you. <laughs> you guys have like legit. That's like actually using the custom, um, you know, like everyone can put their face in the game. That was like one of the selling points, like back of the box bullet point feature of Thug one and two was like, you could upload a picture of your face and put on your skater so you could play as you. That's what that is. There's no like special model of Adam or anything. It's just no idea. I am in the game. Nolan just took right, the picture Scott, and did the Photoshop. We see him. Well, the first thing we do is we decide what levels we want to make. Right. Um, then from there, we'll send a, a team of a designer and a couple of artists to go out and take pictures of the actual locations. This year, we went to Barcelona, Berlin, Whoa. Australia, <laughs> you know, Boston. Um, we take pictures of, you know, skatable geometry, oh, uh, landmarks, places that, that we'd like to put in the game. Right. And then we build a map. Very wow. good, thank you. Now we need a story to kind of tie the whole thing together. Right. And that's where Cody comes in. So uh, you start out with uh, Bones, which is a custom system we made Whoa. here. And this is what actually makes the characters move. It's gonna be you right there, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so sick. So uh, then we go ahead and add the skins that Nolan oh, made God. onto the character. I yeah. just got a then, surge uh, of anxiety knowing that I'm French, coming up. Come on, Adam, let's go play the game. Uh, you're going to be the first person, before me even, before <laughs> any person in the outside, you're going to see the final cut, the final version of Tony Hawk's Underground 2. What do you what? think about that? Let yeah. me see what I meant? I was talking about this yesterday, how like there's an office, uh, like the programmers were in this room right behind them. And instead of just like leaving the lights off or like fluorescent lighting, they like literally put a yellow spotlight like in the room pointed up at the windows just so it would look yellow in the background. And like there's another light on the wall behind him that's blue and it's like oh, just so two thousands. I'm stalling. Of Whatever. Tony Hawk's Underground too. What do you what? think about that? Let yeah. me add it. But yeah. standing the level. I remember I was testing out um the latency on the TV through all the gear and stuff and um, it wasn't that bad, but it, it was playable, but uh, that's why my skater was there. It's my memory card, I'm pretty sure. You can switch over to him at any time. What? Yep. This Ready to go. Sick. This is definitely my footage. That's funny. I'm going to hook you up today. The What's new that? cheat code. What? You're going to be able to unlock what? Polly. Oh, you know, man. That kid in the wheelchair? Yeah. You're gonna be able to um, it was PS2, one. I think. Whoa. Okay, so on your Xbox, yeah. enter this code. Four Wheeler. God, Once you enter that code, is. you get Polly. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. He's not in his wheelchair anymore, but uh, he's still got the uh, body cast going. So this is like what I'm talking about when the producers are sitting behind the camera and they're just like, okay, now just be excited. You're excited. You're really into this. Whatever he says, you're just like, you can't believe it. Like... And so that's why you have like Adam just being like, whoa, after like just random sentences. Oh, wow. like, Oh my gosh, look at him. He's got a broken leg. Nice. <laughs> you ready to play this game or what? Hell yeah, let's play. All right, here you go. Whoa, 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 you're not gonna play it by yourself. We're gonna bring in the world's best Tony Hawk pro skater player oh, for you to no. go head to head with, all right? <laughs> all right, all right. This kid's name is Andy THPS. He's so good at the game that we hired him here at Neversoft to work for us and test the video game. What's up, dude? What's up, man? I'm Andy. Nice to meet you. Dude, pleasure, man. Should I get whooped or what, man? You said you're a pretty good player, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm down. I'm really good. I'm the ultimate as far you're as ready I know to get in this game. Or what? Let's see what you got, man. All Come right. on, bring it. 
Oh, it is Xbox. Look at that. You're right. Dude, Wee Man looks. I had just, I had um just moved to LA and I'd shaved my head like day two. It was like, and then two days later, I'm like doing this. So real. <laughs> Yeah, this is Andy's actually Andy versus Adam. Seven times on one move. That's the sickest combo I've seen in like a, a year. year. Classic. Oh, man. I remember this right here, just thinking like, oh, we got this easy revert. Nope. <laughs> Whoa. My whole That's career just like round. shattered. I was a little bit busy watching Andy bust. He definitely whooped me up. I think my five minutes is up. I think I gotta go. I'm gonna be late. Striker's waiting for me. You remember where to go? Yep, out the back door. You got Five it. minutes is almost up. Right out that way, right, man. It's, it's been, been a pleasure. pleasure. If I expect to be where Andy THPS is at, oh, God. I think I'm gonna have to. All right, fine. We'll go back. That way, right, man. It's, it's been, been a pleasure. pleasure. If I expect. You could tell the editor was like, oh, shoot, they missed it. We got to cut it like right away so as little as time as possible. I had friends call me like weeks after this aired and they're like, yo, we're all just hanging out and you just like appeared on the TV and you're like playing Tony Ox Underground. And then I see you like whip this guy's butt and then afterwards you missed the, the fist pound, but I don't even care. It was like, he mentioned that part. I was like, ah, I was hoping no one would notice, but. To be where and see when I got to LA er, before it was all, that's dap. That's like, you give someone dap, that's everything. Or your high five, that's it. But when I got to California, I was like, oh, some people do the pound afterwards. And so Adam did the pound when I was not ready for it. And I was just like, oh, God, we're on TV and this is going to be forever now. The THPS is at, I think I'm going to have to play 24 hours a day. I actually did play with them. And I remember playing and like you could see it. I like just landed a quick million point combo because I had watched him play. He clearly never played the game before. If he did play, he's just like really bad. He was getting like 2000 points like. I'm not like, if you're bad at the game, I don't care. But if you're on a show called The Ultimate Gamer, I would expect you to have some experience, but he had like none. Look at Big Al here. Adam, I'm sorry if you're, if you're lurking in the stream right now. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> yeah, this is the oh, age of Pit My Ride, man. I have no joke. Um, we used to run into Exhibit at Ralph's, the grocery store all the time. He lived in my hood. And I remember I was my buddy, uh, my friend, sorry, my brother and all his friends came to visit because they were on tour and they were staying at our house for a little bit. And we were walking to the grocery store from the par parking lot and Exhibit literally was going over speed bumps right in front of us. And my brother's friend goes, hey, it's Exhibit. And then he's just like, you see Exhibit go, oh, and just like peel out. Like, just like, I don't want to deal with these guys. <laughs> like, <laughs> cool story. But that was like when he was huge. Adam gets the surprise of his life. Oh my God. And this is the new Neversoft office from Wee Man in the parking Mike lot. When the ultimate gamer returns. Adam. Oh man, I'm so sorry. I'm How sorry. cool is that though? Amazing, right? It, besides getting totally annihilated, I had a lot of fun. Well, I brought you here because I said you're going to have the biggest surprise of your life. Yep. yep. And outside of this door, it's going to be that. All right. This is in the parking garage right God. now. It's a diaper. It's okay. <laughs> Come with me. Okay. Adam, this is for you. Holy right here. Look. Oh my god, that? dude. There's Fry's elect Electronics is right there. We used to always hang and skate here and then if we ever needed something for Fry's, we literally just hopped the fence and we're in the parking lot. Awesome. Yes, dude. <laughs> What's up? The entire Neversoft dev studio is like right down here, like behind the camera. Like everyone was watching Tony just warm up and do like flawless casual McTwists. Oh my god, oh, dude. Man. What? Yes. What? Yeah, come here. Let's meet him. Come here. What's up? Tony Hawk. What's up, dude? What's up? What's up, man? What's up, man? Right. How are you, dude? So you're the ultimate gamer. Right? Hell yeah, hell yeah. What do you got to say to this, man? <laughs> so you're the ultimate gamer, huh? Like, like I got like, nothing to say except for, oh my god. It's not dude, ultimate at all. I'm so amazed, dude. Can we watch you skate a little? Um, Can sure. you skate for yeah, me? Yeah, sure. What's up? Sure. But exactly. you got to, you know, don't pretend like you're controlling me or anything, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. Yeah. Yo, Iron Hawk. <laughs> Damn, dude. For me, my own personal show, Tony Hawk. Sick. Dude, this is so nuts. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 
Oh my god. Yeah, dude. This guy is killing it. Yeah. Oh my god. Amazing. Good job. Good job. Awesome. One man demo for you. Dude. Thank you. Are you going to join me or what? Oh, man. I don't know if I've ever skated on anything this big. Oh, yeah? Well, there's always a first. I'll probably do it if you help me. Sure. Yeah, let's do it. All, All right. right. Let's go. All right. Don't kill yourself. Oh we have pads God. for They should have cut this part with out. Tony Hawk, you this bastard. Is, this is better. They should have, like, just skated a ledge, or there's, like, plenty of curves that we used to always skate, like, right where you're standing. Better than the lottery. This is sick. See, I'm not going like, to... Look at him. He looks like he's never... Oh, two yeah. feet of hurt, though. Yeah. Yeah. Two, like... <laughs> Oh yeah, just just two. Just two feet of not bad vertical. at all, right? I mean, from here. No, this because game. after that, then you're gonna hit the ramp somewhere down the with, line. With my head. You're all padded up. You got nothing to lose but your life. However you go down, you gotta go with your board. But even if you're sliding on your butt, hold it. So I hold it in the air. Yeah, so you can claim like I went down. With I, I went down the ramp with my board. With my board, no problem. Right. This is all gonna right. rock. This better be like worth like five points. Yeah, Adam's wuss out. Go Adam's wuss out right here. Ready? I mean, Good job. To yeah, be fair. On. To be fair, I would not drop in on this. Like, even if I warmed up for a little bit, maybe if I had months, like, working my way up to drop it on whatever that is, a 10-footer. Yeah. That was good, I did. I did. But I would have suggested, I'm not going to slide down the half pipe on my butt. I'm going to just skate a curb or something. You know what I mean? Bad, man. No blood. Drop it. All the way to the bottom. Oh, there we go. Mike, here we go. It's the taser! It's the taser! <laughs> Coward, dude. Oh, no. What was that sliding on your ass? Get up. Oh, no. Get your board and try it again. Dude, You're a skateboarder now. This ain't no video game. Get up there. It was brave of him to try to skate and actually stand up there and contemplate dropping in, but I think he's more brave for uh, getting beat up by Wee Man and Mike V all day. All nice. right, we're on Tony's Very ramp. politically we Tony, correct we answer. Mike v, we got Birdman Jr. Adam Stay right in here, the middle. Wee Everyone's good side. You guys ready to do a drop in? Maybe X Games 11. Oh no! Pre yeah. All right. Is he gonna slide in again? Ready to drop One, in. Two, three. <laughs> 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 I thought you were flying out of his legs. Yeah, you see? Did you see it? Wait, is that Tony Hawk? He kind of looks like him. Uh, yeah, yeah. I just looked over and I was a bear. <laughs> Striker! Oh, 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 there you are. No. Oh, there Where'd you go? <laughs> I'm right here. Let me see this board. You see? I brought a sharpie. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, right on. Uh oh. Oh, I guess you get to keep it. Dude, will you sign that thing for me? Yeah. You're a skater now. That means no girlfriends anymore. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> a new girlfriend, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Let that these guys do a little, little yeah, demo a little, for you. A little street skating or something. Yeah, let's do street right, skating. Perfect. Let's go over there and check it out. Put the plasma screen on. Oh, plasma. Dude, the latency on that thing is going to be miserable. He's going to have a field day playing with all of these. Crank it. All right, you guys. This is the most intricate. Did he just turn on the Xbox from the not Xbox power on button? Field day playing with all of these. Crank it. Isn't that not the power button? I never had an Xbox. I had dev kits and stuff to work with at work, but I'm pretty sure that's not the power button. <laughs> Oh. All right, you guys, this is the most intricate Hit the I've ever known to man. I put it together myself. I paid for it myself. There you go. Ah, so you got to keep it at old school, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like a little freestyle. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, let's try that one. Oh, I can do that. Oh, what's up? <laughs> what's oh. A couple more years worth of lessons, and I'll get it. This has been an amazing day. Tony, totally. Mike, we, uh, Adam, we gotta go do some things. So get, oh, right on, right give on. your goodbyes, hug, kiss, right, man. French kiss. Yeah, man. Nice Travel seeing you, dude. Right. It's been totally you awesome. Too. Seriously, Thanks. dude. Can See, they didn't know whether to pound either. They're both what? They don't know. No hugs, no kisses. No one knows when to pound. Yeah. Mike, and we're gonna, oh, yeah, oh, I'll do it to you. All right, you ready it's though? a problem. Yeah, it's right. a plague. It's plaguing the nation. All right, we had a good day today, right? We had an awesome day today. We woke up at the crack of dawn. Sounds like they just came back from like a date. You know what I mean? Like the tone of their voice is a little bit. You met Wee Man. Yeah. You met Mike V. Yeah. We went to Neversoft. Yeah. You met Tony Hawk. Yeah. Well, while we were gone, some well, we stuff was done in your crappy apartment. Are you I ready for I'm this? Ready. All right. Check out your new pad. You ready for this? The ultimate gamer's pad in full effect. What? Okay, that's not bad. The, I feel like the graffiti is kind of like the worst part. This shelf has got like this is. I would rather this. I don't know, be straight or wall mounted or just not exist. The bench and table thing is not too bad. This is cool. Dude, there's a Neversoft deck. I don't even have one of those. Dude, that's, I'm jealous of that. The rest he can have. The Neversoft deck is, is rad.
There's a birdhouse pillow. The couch looks all right. I don't know. This rug is a little bit. Looks like he's about to trip on it. We'll see. What? Oh yeah. my dude, this is not my place. This is your place. Holy <laughs> shit, dude, what did you guys do? Unbelievable. Come here. Oh my Come here. god. Dude. Check out the photos on the wall right there. You got Mike oh jumping over god. you. That was the first thing this morning. There's us all hanging out in my car. Oh my god, You're dude. stickered up. Look over there. There's me, you, and Birdman, oh Tony Hawk. My god. And there's Tony pulling a trick. Insane. You got your personalized skate deck to you from Mike V. There's you. There's a shot of you from the video game. Oh my God! Thank God you're better in the video game than, than in I real life. You got to take that screenshot. Skateboarding, dude. <laughs> then over there, check that out. Tony Hawk underground poster. What? Congrats, Adam from Tony Hawk. Oh my God! You got the dude. Birdman skate deck oh over there. Dude, come here, know. come here, come here. The Look. script for this scene just read, "What? Oh my God! What? Oh Get my God!" Coffee table. Dude, Artwork. This is sick. Bam. Oh Hawk. Never God. soft. Hawk. 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 Oh coffee table. My God, Come this here. is the dopest thing I've ever Check seen. Check out the wall. My entire life. Unbelievable, right? Dude, I am about to fall over. What do you got? I think this is actually his apartment, but like, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say he doesn't own this place, but he got the clear from his landlord to like get this situation. I don't know. There. Oh my God. Dude. Plasma screen. This is worth you beating my TV. Surround sound. Surround sound. Surround sound. Surround Holy sound. Me. Dude. And check out right there. All brand new video games oh, for you. Activision oh library. God. Dude, oh my god. Dude. Unbelievable. I am so stoked. How about, right a, now, dude. how about a hug for the kid? What's up? Dude? Hug me. There you go. Oh. And a big shout out to Sonia and Alex. Dude, Sonia but and Alex, dude. Oh my god. You as guys rule. They do rule. As I look around, I'm checking it out. I think it's missing one Here thing. Here we go. What could that one thing be? Oh! Birdman! <laughs> What's up? Hey, buddy. Oh. You got the first copy of Thug 2. This is ridiculous. I don't have one of those, so yeah. keep your eye on it. I will. You know what we should do? Uh, Holy crap. Give this to me. You sit there. Tony, sit there. Let's fire it up right now. We're going to have a problem. You know I'm going to be Tony Hawk, right? Uh, no, I'm, I am Tony Hawk. No, so but, um, yeah, but you can be him all the time. Oh, well, maybe we should do like a, a alter ego thing. I'll be Tony Hawk, and you'll be like the, the dark Tony Hawk. OK, I'm all down. All right, cool. There I am. Who's going <laughs> to win? It's cool, though, because whoever wins, I can say, oh, oh that was me. It's me. Huh. <laughs> Weird. OK, here, there. Go. here we go. Oh, oh, oh. This one's for Andy. Oh, nice. Did Andy teach you anything today? Not much. I don't even remember those oh. lines. You just wiped out while Tony is kicking your arse right now. This is not fair. Not much. Oh, that was not called for at all. Nice, Tony. Tony, dude, you're actually a good what? skater, huh? Jesus. This is turning out to be not so good for me. I can hear the analogs. Adam, you're just a little better in the game than you were in real skating. And they're coming from Adam. Right there. Did you see that? That was one from the books. Uh-oh, watch out. I found a vert ramp. Time is up. You're up. All right, final score. Tony Hawk as Tony Hawk, 191 grand. Adam as the dark side, Tony Hawk at 21,000. So. Hey, man, this is a total game. It's 21 a grand in two yeah, minutes. Yeah, the controls are a lot different. <laughs> Unforgivable. <laughs> is it? No, not really. No, of course not. Not at all. All right. Ultimate gamer, by the way. All right, cool, man. Congratulations. Have fun. Man. Seriously. All right. Yeah. Dude, I walk in my house and look at my setup. The dopest TV I've ever seen. I have surround sound. Dope. My old setup, kiss it goodbye. I'm never going to sleep again. This is my new home. Gaming, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Wait, did he actually say he, get, he played for uh, 10 hours a day? God, because like you know me, like scores, I I don't care. Like it, you can be bad at the game. Like it, like it, so to be good at the game, it, scores are not even close to being everything. We know that, right? And also, I don't care if you're bad at the game, but if you're on a show called Ultimate Gamer and you say you play ten hours a day, and I, I just like there's a just immediate disconnect. If anyone's ever played any of these games and you see this dude come come home with a twenty grand two minute run, is like. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Some poor young actor just getting roasted by Andy 10 years later. I'm letting it all out. So for the longest time, I've done such a poor job, like, explaining this. But I've let... People have... This video has floated around for a long time, like, on the forums back when, like, people used to make fun of me for it. Like, whatever. They have their fun. And it's like, I would laugh at myself happily, as we are now. But it's just super embarrassing. Like, it's just really cringe. Like, I feel like... I have way more fun watching the thaw video that I didn't know anything about and I wasn't in it. And it was just like, it was just, I don't know. It was not near as anxiety inducing. It was just like, God, please just get over, like get this over with kind of feeling I have this whole watch. But, uh,
yeah so i think about how cringe that was pretty frequently and we also peaked in 2004 right here we haven't really done anything to like kind of top or eclipse that so uh and then we missed the fist pound i don't know what did you guys think on a scale of one to ten what did you think was it <laughs> worth it <laughs> 10 out of 10 it was super cheesy man it was it's really bad <laughs> like i think dated obviously like it's amazingly bad right the the thing that gets to me is like what i was trying to explain earlier it was like when someone walks in a room and you're filming something like oh i didn't see you there and it's just like the camera and you obviously know they were there this was that for 25 minutes but at the time no one was like having fun with it they're like being serious about it like oh striker just walked into my house and he's kidnapping me and there's a duffel bag with hard hats like there was just no like i don't know i feel like they broke the fourth wall over and over and they didn't realize it and they're trying to play it off i guess what i'm trying to say anyway anyway that was fun laughed at myself for many years for that and uh laughed at kevin mohall for many years after that you know, for the longest time, like I met Tony um, during that whole shoot. I didn't even shake his hand, but, you know, I was there around watching and stuff. And I didn't think he knew who I was at all. And I didn't re I didn't remember that Adam and Stryker had said those lines later. So it's like he must have known back then because me and Tony didn't actually like speak to each other until like these past couple years since tips one and two. Uh, prior to that, it was just like I would just be like any other fan going up to him like, hey, man, how's it going? How's your flight? You know, can you sign this? <laughs> or like, can I get a picture? The only time I ever got him to sign something was a Nokia phone and a couple copies of like Tony Hawk 4. I put out, I never saw if would have conf conference tables, not the ones that you're used to seeing um, from the lunchroom and stuff. There was another table where you could put whatever you wanted out on the table. And then anytime a pro would come in, they would just go through the table and sign everything so they wouldn't have to get nagged by everybody. And they could just like silently sign as much or nothing if they wanted or didn't want to. So anyway, that was the extent of my interactions with Tony, which is like very brief, brief, just being like a fan. And we didn't really like start DMing and like talking until um, past couple years. Therapy session, clap HD. True. This has been pr pretty therapeutic. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'm not trying to like unload feel like I'm only trying to unload so many feelings on you guys. Not too much. Anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out, being awesome and uh, keeping me company and thank you so much to everyone who uh, you know subs give sub bombs you know anyway thank you guys so much for the support and just being here means the world so i appreciate it does not go unnoticed so make sure you like comment subscribe if you're watching this later on youtube uh instagram twitter you know the drill let's uh go say hi to th he's a good dude